it's essentially just a modified hair that does a little bit of a different job. Now I mentioned when I first started the talk that his scales are just like fingernails. In fact, they're not very protective in terms of strength. They're not strong, they're pretty thin in fact, and bendable. But you might notice as he moves around, he curves up his back, he can actually curl himself into a ball. He'll wrap his tail all the way around himself. And as he does that, these scales kind of stand up, don't they? They're not like porcupines, they can't flex them completely up. But when they curve their body, the scales stand up. So what happens in the wild is where he's from, he might come across leopards, other penguin species will come across other big cats like tigers and, and lions, and they curl into that ball, their scales are gonna stand up a little bit, and that lion or leopard or, or tiger or whatever it is, is definitely 100% stronger than these scales. But they're not stupid animals either, right? So they go to bite him, and they feel all those things in their 